Mark Dillon, congratulations on the commercial release of Sailfish 1.0 this week. But I have to ask you, in a world dominated by iOS and Android, why is there a need for another mobile operating system? First off, the fact that there are only two players, that's exactly a great reason to do this because you want a Ford or a Toyota. Could you imagine if that's the only choices you had in the world? But essentially, most of the mobiles today are using the same exact user experience and it's dominated by one player. And what we have created with Sailfish is an opportunity for innovation for many different kinds of companies, many different kinds of partners. So this is one of the greatest things we've been able to do is to make an open operating system that truly is open, not only open source, but also open to different kinds of business models and open to different kinds of partnerships. So everything is possible with Sailfish. What does Sailfish offer that other operating systems can't? We have the, the best multitasking in the world. So you can see your whole digital life in front of you at the same time. It's giving you constant updates about what's going on. And you can very quickly and effortlessly go back and forth between applications so that you can keep track of what's going on and still be able to manage your whole digital life. As well as your own Yolo branded handsets, you're also enabling Sailfish to be ported onto existing Android handsets, is that right? That's correct. So we have we are now launching Sailfish for Everyone, which allows a user to take any device that was loaded with Android and put Sailfish on it. So we're going to start with a few devices, you can see them at the stand here, and we're going to open up Sailfish for others so that everyone can take advantage of the great opportunities that Sailfish provides. So personalization is not just in the software, it's also in the hardware. So Sailfish was designed as a platform for innovation from software, but we also created some hardware innovation where the other half of the device can be used for different kinds of partnerships and it also has a security token and it has data connections. So we are today launching our partnership with Makia, where it's a Finnish clothing manufacturer. So they have branded the back, the other half of the, the phone, and plus they can provide their other content in a partnership space so that users can very easily access whatever the latest Makia catalog is. We're also doing the same thing with Angry Birds. So Rovio created this, this great machine, Angry Birds, and now you will be able to buy an Angry Birds Yola that will have special content and a, a feed directly from Rovio so that you can keep track of all of the latest things that are happening with Angry Birds. With so much attention on the web experience, why do we also need applications? There has been an interesting transition that instead of using the internet where everywhere you go, everything is available to you, that got taken away from you with the application ecosystems because people want to protect their application ecosystem. So we're actually providing everything that's available. So Android applications run, plus we have Sailfish applications, and it's easy to integrate services very deeply into the software so that our partners can also make sure that the services that people want are actually easily available. How important is the support of mobile operators to your plans? We are getting great uh, feedback from the operators. So once we have launched the phone and now we've proven that we can do this, we made the smartphone in six months and we launched it in Finland with DNA, we've opened the open channels and now we're moving to Russia and India and we're also working with operators globally in order to bring selfish powered YOLA devices to consumers everywhere. Mark Dillon, thank you very much indeed. All right, thank you.